invite Dr. Godwin Murunga to make his remarks. Welcome, Dr. Murunga. Well, thank, th thank you very much, uh, Professor Rono, for the opening remarks. And thank you very much, all the colleagues joining us, uh, those who we can see uh, on our screens and many, many others, roughly uh, 130 signed on at the moment from different uh, countries for taking time out of what I am sure is a busy demanding schedule uh, to join us for this occasion of the launch of uh, Professor Paul T. Ambezadeza's book, Africa and the Disruptions of the 20th Century. Uh, on behalf of Codestria, the executive committee and its broader membership, uh, it is indeed an honor and a privilege uh, to have this kind of audience signing in to listen to engage in an event uh, that has been collaboratively organized between uh, Codestria and the United States International University, uh, Nairobi. Uh, of course, uh, it is indeed also uh, only fair that uh, it is Professor uh, Paul Tiambezeleza, uh, who is the focal point here, uh, given that uh, in many, many ways, and uh, I do this with all uh, respect for the United States International University, uh, Professor uh, Paul Zeleza is in every sense of the word, a child of Kodesu. And uh, if you can see me on the screen, I am not even blinking about that. Uh, it is uh, uh, this morning, uh, yesterday I was having a conversation with Professor Ibo Mandaza uh, from Zimbabwe, and uh, we've been looking for a particular uh, article that was written by the late uh, Professor Tandika Mkandawil, Kodesu Yastad, uh, executive secretary. And for a year, we had not uh, found this article until yesterday when he sent me uh, this article titled A Kind of Homecoming, uh, which was published in 1994 uh, uh, when he actually returned to Malawi uh, after spending over 30 years in exile. And uh, the first thing, of course, I did was to skim through. And on the second page of that article, uh, he's writing about when he got back to Malawi and uh, he was uh, just settling in and uh, quote unquote, I met uh, Tiambe Zeleza, the Malawian historian writer, younger brother, and had an interesting discussion with him and his colleagues. Uh, that's perhaps where the journey uh, <laughs> begins. And uh, so in a sense, also it's a celebration of our departed uh, colleague, Professor Tandika Mkanda Wire, whose uh, anniversary of his death uh, is coming up on, on, on Saturday. Uh, I am using those remarks to make, really to make two points in this introductory uh, session. The first point is um, that Codestria has been around for roughly 45 years. And we've been publishing books for a very long time, actually. Uh, perhaps running the the one social science journal that has had an interrupted uh, series of publications since the 1970s. Among the books we have published uh, are two key books written by Professor Zeleza, single authored books, A Modern Economic History of Africa and Manufacturing African Studies and Crisis. There are others that Professor Zeleza has edited. I can think of the top of my head, uh, at least two or four others that he has edited. But these two are special, partly because the journey for a modern economic history of Africa begins at Kenyatta University, where the laser was uh, um, teaching at the time and was asked to teach a course on a modern economic history of Africa. And at the end of the day, was able to apply to Codestria uh, for, uh, for funding and ended up writing the book, A Modern Economic History of Africa. It's one of the books that has, uh, list, is listed among Codestria's award-winning books. Uh, it won the Noma Award for publishing. And uh, soon after, the Zeleza put together the essays that uh, constitute manufacturing African studies and crisis. And again, that particular publication did um, uh, win the special commendation from the Noma Award for publishing uh, in Africa. Uh, Prof will not deny the fact that uh, it is after that that things started happening pretty quickly for him. 
uh, leading to his departure from Kenyatta University, his sojourn in the US, in Canada, uh, Jamaica also, um, and ended up eventually back in Nairobi, in a sense, a homecoming. But I'm happy today that he's ended up back in Kodesu. And that we are holding this event now is important to me and important to the council, partly because for me, it represents a revitalization and indeed an announcement of our reemergence stronger uh, in relation to our publishing uh, work. Uh, when Professor Zeleza got in touch to share this, uh, the essays that make up this book, uh, we were very excited about the opportunity of having to demonstrate again that we were a publisher of not, and it took us roughly six months to turn this manuscript into what uh, we have here. Uh, doing it exclusively from Dhaka and being able to produce this publication has indeed been a journey that has, in a sense, made me very happy. And I want to make a special mention, as I conclude, of one of our colleagues whom I'm hoping she's online, uh, Sandy Shepherd. Um, when Professor Zeleza sent us this manuscript, he made the subtle argument that the manuscript was sufficiently, I can see Sandy is online, the manuscript he argued was sufficiently copy edited. And then we say, let's just try it with one of our copy editors and see how it's going to work. And at the end of the day, you would enjoy the conversation that took place between Sandy on one hand and Professor Zeleza on the other hand. And I'm really happy that the book is out, but I'm even happier that Sandy is online with us because the work she does for the council in terms of turning manuscripts into what we eventually read uh, is something worth celebrating. I want to make a final apology uh, to colleagues who speak French. Uh, we are unable to have this uh, discussion in French and it's an apology I want to extend because our desire uh, to be Pan-African in your orientation is something that we don't shy away from. Uh, we'll be doing more uh, of our webinars in uh, English and French and I hope that uh, we'll have an opportunity to also to discuss Professor Leza's book in other languages, uh, in French, in Portuguese, in Swahili, if uh, our colleagues in East Africa can facilitate this. So again, thank you very much colleagues for agreeing to join us for this event. On behalf of the council, we do appreciate very much and I'm looking forward to an excellent discussion this afternoon or this morning, depending on where you are. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Murunga, uh, for that.